One of the first skills you'll want to master in AutoCAD is navigation. Navigation is typically done with the mouse. Zooming and panning can be accomplished with the mouse wheel. To zoom in and out, just roll your mouse wheel up or down. Similarly, to pan, click and hold your mouse wheel and then move your mouse. Panning and zooming can also be accomplished through the command line, which is important if you don't have a mouse with a wheel. To begin the pan command, type P in the command line and press enter. You'll notice that your cursor changes to a hand. If you click and drag the left mouse button, you can pan around your drawing. When you're done, press escape or enter. To begin the zoom command, you can type zoom or just Z. Notice in the command line there are more than one option. It's important you start to understand how to interact with AutoCAD through the command line. The command line can help you understand what AutoCAD expects from you and what your options are within a command. You can see that the second line to the bottom in my command line says specify corner of window, enter a scale factor, or, and then my bottom line lists a bunch of options. Each option is separated by a slash, and the capital letters in the option are what I can type to choose that option. In other words, if I want to zoom all, I can enter an A now for the all option. If I type Z again to enter the zoom command, I could say P for the previous option, and it should zoom out to the view I had previously. The other really important zoom option you'll need to know about is window. Rolling with the mouse wheel can't always get you exactly the zoom level you're after, but the window option can. Because the second line to the bottom says specify corner of window, I can actually just pick a window now without choosing the window option. In other words, once I enter the zoom command, I can just pick two points to define a rectangle, and it'll zoom to that rectangle. That's the same way the zoom command will work if you choose the window option. You can tell that I'm not in a command because my command line says command. When I'm in a command like zoom, you'll see options. Towards the end of the last line of my command line, you'll notice that it says real time in angled brackets. Whatever option is in angled brackets is the default, and if I press enter, it will accept that. If I press enter now, I will get a real time zoom. You can see that my cursor changes to a magnifying glass, and now if I click my left mouse wheel, and move my mouse up or down, I can zoom in and out. To get out of any command at any point, you can press escape. 